Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, today it's another uh, Platinum Push video. So as you guys know, for the past couple of weeks, I've been trying to get into Platinum every single Monday. Uh, Monday reset for me is at 10 a.m. in the morning. Uh, for other guys, I think it's 3 a.m. in the morning. It depends on where you live, honestly. There's no way around that. There's no way of changing the clocks. So whatever you have to be, that's the time you have to uh, push for it. So the competition is always fierce. But every week I try to see, um, I record the runs, I can't do a live stream on it, I can't do a proper video on it where I just talk through it. And honestly, I wouldn't be able to talk through it because um, I have to do some quick thinking when I'm pushing and I don't always do that. Um, and uh, I'm still working through my teams and working on how to beat the teams is, is the biggest thing in this episode. So let's go through and start the video and see what I'll have to fight against uh, today. So here is just a, a normal team. I went first. Um, you guys know my team. Arbiter, Lissandra, just boosting the whole team, uh, getting sure that I'll be able to get that turn. And then next up, um, we find another team that's easier. I'll pause it next, just so I show you how, um, like what, what kind of time I have left. So here, just remove the buffs and then turn the A3 there. Just burst down. So I know that a good tip tip there is to use A2 with Tranda instead of A3. So in the case that somebody has a um, a swift parry set, then I'll be able to have my big burst again to do use my A3. But that's not the case. Uh, so 10 minutes. Oh, here 10 minutes on the clock, guys. It means that in 10 minutes I have to push and be in platinum. I'm uh, what 16 points away from platinum. So very close. I was really confident on my defensive team as well because I did change some things. Um, I can go through those in the future, but in this video, it's all going to be about offense because you're going to see what happens uh, next. So here I even see my buddy Scratch. If you don't know Scratch, uh, we did the first plat push video together. I saw his defense. I was like, no way. <laughs> I'm not touching this team. Um, I don't even know what kind of defense that is with, um, with Gergo. I do know that Valkyrie is going to be there to just be annoying with her speed down. Uh, Gergo is also annoying with the freeze. Maybe it's just a stall defense. I didn't want to try it. Even though 12 points there, I know that he has insane gear. And also he's my buddy. I, I wouldn't attack him, especially during reset time. So Little Will is also there on my own page with 4,837. These guys are pushing uh, for first, of course. And uh, yeah, insane champions right here. Probably that Hegemon has like 6,000 uh, attack or something and 500 critical damage. So here I do a refresh just to find um, new teams. And, and you see uh, when you get close to Platinum, it just gives you two teams to fight and that's it. So this team was obviously easy for me. I thought, okay, I'll just start fighting these guys and uh, get those easy wins, get some rating there. So this one had a Warlord. I was thinking about it. So I saw that Tormen. And what do I do here? I just change up my team. I put in Lissandra. Uh, why did I put Lissandra? So with Lissandra in the, in the team, just basically boost. Um, I should have used, I should have used in this team instead of Lissandra. I don't know why I chose to do that. I should have used my um, Madame Ceres there to just help me through this because look at this, this team basically stalls and I lose a ton of time. I think I, I do beat them but I lose a lot of time just because of uh, no shield removal. Of course, it wasn't that much of a problem for my, my Tranda. And I still do get the win, but it did take me a bit longer. I thought I thought it took way longer than this. Or maybe I'm, I'm re remembering a different team. We'll see. We'll see how the runs go. Oh, this one was a surprise. Okay, this one's... Oh, yeah, this one was a surprise. Um, yeah, Hegemon there. I thought I could survive it for some reason. I thought it was just going to be a stun Hegemon uh, or, or, or some kind of provoke Hegemon or something like that. It wasn't. It killed me and it basically just destroys me. Have a look at that Drexar in a bit. Have a look at what that Drexar does to my team. Uh, so here Tranda goes. Uh, managed to get a, get a kill there. There's the Drexar just killing everybody. Uh, and he does a Provoke. He does an HP burn. This this fight just goes on way longer because of Seeker. This was just very bad um, decision making from me. Using that Lissandra there. Um, there was no way that the enemy team would have been faster than me. If I used a Seeker or a Krisk, 
this would have been a much, much easier win. Chris would, would have been the, the better choice, I think, there. So I don't know why I picked Lissandra. I put I put in my my normal team against Hegemons, but still, this is a very slow team to use on, on, on offense um, with Seeker and Chris. So just because of all those big, big health bars. So let's see what we'll try to do here. So I do the provoke. A3 here barely killed anyone. I think I should have used A2 there first and then use A3. So this, this run I got again goes for about two minutes or so. Let's see. Don't even get the, the kill there. Ah, we get a, a big... I use the burst from Trenda's A2. I think we'll get the kill here on Hedgy. So a minute run. Didn't even kill Drexa. Drexa there. We try to go kill him and Swift parry proc. So this goes even longer than it should have. I don't have a way to remove uh, the buffs. So <laughs> just poor decision making uh, is the theme of this, uh, of this week's run. I think I don't do well under pressure in arena, guys. <laughs> under the t last 10 minutes, I think I, I just do the worst kind of decisions. And of course, you, you see the bar for getting into Platinum just rising slowly with each run. So if it takes me way longer than it should have, then it, it's bad. So I think this run was a surprise Skull Crown. And you'll see why I, I'm saying it was a surprise Skull Crown. Um, what did I do here? I, I put in Gerbtuck there to just apply his block buffs on the enemy team So I could get the kill so here oh, it's such a bad a bad thing. I did um, Yeah, I, I just lost I just lost this this um, Versus this team for for no reason absolutely no reason I should have just used my proper team with uh, Madame and Lissandra, or pro probably use just Arbiter, um, Sky Touched, maybe Arbiter, Sky Touched, Madame, and just Tranda, and just burst them down. I, I don't know why I was overthinking it with Gurb Tug and stuff. So here I didn't even use my, my Madame here. I removed the freeze, managed to go with Lissandra. It is uh, Tranda goes in there for the kill, take them down. So I don't know why I didn't do this from the first round. Just basically lost a an easy fight for absolutely no reason. Uh, of course, Gurptag is great against champions like um, like um, Skull Crown because of that annoying passive. But and here I had it on auto again, which is very bad in terms of uh, le letting that. Lisanna just reduced that turn meter. So here I'm nine points away from, from Plat. Let's see, this was an easy run. I I did another mistake here, putting Sky Touch in there. I should have used just Madame, but this was an easy team to beat. Then I try to find some easier teams. So I don't know why I didn't go against that team. I don't know why I didn't go against that team. I think I was just thinking about it. I check on my defense. I didn't get attacked a single time. I don't know, like looking at it now, I don't know why I didn't go against that Astralon team. He would have not beaten me. No chance that team would have beaten me. I don't know if I was just trying to find easier teams, but I mean, that's not the way to go. I'm trying to get to top 200 now on Platinum. So top 300 is basically when you enter in. Uh, I've always finished between 200 and 300. I want to get top, top 200 and possibly higher if I can. But... um. Here, I'm about 20 points away. I didn't see the clock. So we're closing in, like five minutes away. Here, I see the Hedgy, and I immediately think, okay, Hedgy, um, I need to use my Seeker. So I use Seeker, Tormin, Sky Touched, Tranda. Uh, it's the first time I use this team, but I, I wanted to use Tormin just for the freezes. Don't think anybody uses Tormin on offense just because he's a bit slower, but the way I built him this time was uh, trying to get some revenge. And 
I, I, I for sure remember a, a skull crown team. This one, 372,000. I went for this team. Out of all the teams that I could have picked, I went for this team. I think the skull crown in this in this run had a. Um, I think the skull crown had an an avenging set on. So the one that you counterattack when you get crit on a good a good chance. So she 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 counterattacks when she's low. I thought okay, it was her defense passive that proc. So she here another counterattack proc, another counter counterattack proc. She gets attacked by. Um, by Lysandra, another counterattack. Thank God for that fear debuff. So here I had it on Otto. That was a big mistake by me. Counterattack, counterattack. You see all those there. Um, if she didn't have the fear on, I would be a dead man. So if that's a good set on that she had, she would have probably just killed my whole team while still staying alive and just being annoying. Uh, I'm trying to remove that buff. It's just wasting a minute of my time. There's the, there's the counter there. Finally, I removed the buff with my uh, w with my uh, Madame that has over 700 accuracy right now with her build and I was like, I, I think that 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 run with Skullcrown just tilted me. I was like, there's no way. Why is she counterattacking? I just couldn't connect the two. Like, why is she keep counterattacking? So I was trying to get close to Platinum. Here I was four points away with a minute 39 on the clock right here, guys. Minute 39 on the clock. I just uh, refreshed. I saw some teams I thought I could go for. I just wanted to get in and then try and push to get some additional points. Um, okay. I think I got in here. I was in Platinum. Um, I don't know why I didn't do a reset. So this was a bad, bad choice. This was a bad choice because I think the enemy was faster. And with this team, yeah, good night. Uh, there's that block, block revive, another block revive there, um, and I dropped from platinum. So here, uh, I had a choice to just try again with a minute on the clock, guys. This was a much easier team, of course. Uh, it doesn't look like a platinum team. I don't know how uh, these are so close there and how they're ever in the entrance of platinum. So um, 11 points away now. Did I see the clock? So here it's a hegemon team. Um, I used Torment again. I think this one was easy. Yeah, I think once Tranda gets a turn, that's a uh, done deal. There's Heiji. Um, there's uh, Torment. And then Tranda for the kill. I got four points there, which is, which is just a joke. Uh, it was just a joke for trying to get into Platinum. I mean, don't give me four points. Uh, it's just a joke. I, I need to do like three fights to to get in and uh, I do get this win And there on the top um, I'm I'm platinum points. So uh, four eight one seven As you can see guys, so I don't know what happened here So I beat this team, uh, okay, and then I enter platinum it seems so four eight uh, one seven 4817, I have the platinum here with one second to go. And something happened. And obviously, I, I lost it. I, I have no way to check. There's no records kept. But yeah, I, I lost it. It seems for one second, somebody pushed and got, got on top of me in terms of points. I know these things happen. Um, I don't think I deserve uh, platinum this week. So... Um, I think I think I did not deserve platinum this week just because of the bad decisions that I did with a couple of teams. I shouldn't have lost points on on that uh, Drexler team. I shouldn't have lost points on any of the other teams. So this run was after the clock, and uh, I just get 20 points and pick up my gold for reward. So apparently, for I didn't get any um, any attacks on my defense as you saw there, but it seems that. For a couple of seconds, uh, I was in Platinum and somebody just pushed higher. That's it. That's the name of the game. I don't know if if it was just a bug from timer. I don't care. I What I get from this week's push was I should have done a better job at attacking teams. That's what, that's what I get out of this week's push. But the more practice, the better I'll become in pushing. And of course, the more teams I create, the better. So I don't have an immunity um, geared 
nuke her just yet so i don't have an immunity um madame sorry some people use those instead of just using a sky touch when pushing um, it's just a better way to fight off those uh those torments that might be the solution to my some of my problems we'll see we'll see how that goes next week and if i have time to farm that gear and actually prepare because i don't really have uh, all that time thank you guys for watching another plat platinum rush video if you do enjoy these videos please leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and leave it in the comments because um it might just get boring for you guys to see my attempts every single week um the, the teams that are using are mostly the same i don't have any new champions like a hegemon valkyrie to use in arena i don't have any of the flashy ones unless i get really lucky in the future so for now uh, i'm still using my my Poor Leo Tranda <laughs> and of course my arbiter Lissandra, Madame Sky Touched, you know, these these champs. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!